back to the ranch, Dr. Uptown here. Today we are bringing you a relatively newly available on the street. It has been being offered since uh, about the SHOT Show. However, it has been absolutely impossible to uh, find them available. And what we got here in our little package, and our logo is going to give it away a little bit. As you read it there, it's a Rock Island Armory. What we have inside here, like I say, is one of their newest offerings in the uh, 1911 family. And as I said, this uh, hasn't been available that long and is just basically freshly out on the streets available. What this is is a uh, compact 1911 tactical and you're probably telling yourself if you've seen some of my other videos what's the big deal you already have a compact tactical that is true however this particular one is in 9 millimeter Luger and that I do not have <clears throat> let's say this is uh, featuring the uh, Sporting the new uh, Rock Island Armory logo, which is uh, laser etched. It's very crisp. Um, I don't know that I'm going to leave it like that eventually. I may uh, go ahead and uh, darken that out so that it's uh, more akin to some of my other pistols that you've seen. Uh, some people have been doing that. Some people haven't. I also have some uh, replacement grips on the way for that does come with one magazine a nickel plated one it's a 8 plus 1 capacity uh, does not have the night sights just the typical uh, Novak sights that we're used to seeing on the Rock Island Tacticals uh, also in the box uh, Rock Island has uh, changed their boxes uh, the newer box is a much nicer offering it's got all your paperwork in it even comes with a DVD I have no idea what's on it so we'll have to check that out and it looks like we got our normal pistol manual that they send with us too and our spent shells but this is uh, like I say hot on the street right now I uh, was able to find it the other day uh, Centerfire had them listed as available as of this morning they still had them on the website so they should be available at least for a short period of time this is a uh, three and a half inch barrel does have the skeletonized trigger and hammer the uh, does not have ambidextrous safeties which you may be used to seeing on the other tacticals that Rock Island offers however on the compact they do not offer the ambidextrous safety they only offer the single sided and it is the standard style safety instead of an extended one it does feature the bull barrel configuration that you're used to seeing on the compact models as well as the full length guide rod disassembly on this is going to be exactly the same as with the uh, other compact that I've shown you, you just take your uh, your bent paper clip and uh, put down the hole in the guide rod move your slide forward to the breakdown notch pop your slide stop off and your upper end will come off complete push the barrel back out of the way bring forward the uh, whole recoil spring assembly which is a uh, single spring on a reverse plug and then your barrel out the front just like on our other compact you can see this thing is just <clears throat> as typical with Rock Island is drowning in oil from the factory reassembly will be exactly the opposite my email chiming in Get our holes lined up with our barrel link. 
Push our slide stop back down in place once we've got the breakdown notch lined up. Slide the slide back, remove the paper clip out of our way. <clears throat> and again, uh, as with on my uh, other compact model, I realize that you don't need a paper clip. And for those folks that uh, are Kimber fans and say you can get the tool from Kimber, get over it. It's a paper clip. If you want to spend five dollars for a package of five paper clips, and that's fine. I'll spend uh, five dollars and buy an entire case of paper clips. Anyway, like I say, uh, fresh out on the street. This is the uh, Rock Island Tactical Compact in nine millimeter Luger. We'll uh, get out to the range here in a few days and see if we can get some shots off on it and give you a range video on it and review how well it shoots. But up to this point, looks like the uh, typical uh, Rock Island quality is built into it. I haven't had it apart yet to look at the internals, but I don't expect to see anything oddball there. The, uh, like I say, with the officer size, you are going to get the uh, shorter mainspring housing. One additional feature that I did notice that they have put on this latest Rock Island is they have grooved this front strap. So that's something uh, additional that they've started doing in these later models. Uh, none of the rest of my Rock Islands have that, so that's a welcome addition. I do have some, uh, like I say, do have some replacement grips on the way to uh, get rid of the smooth ones, and uh, we'll show you those also when they come in, uh, as well as uh, additional magazine coming. So uh, we'll let you know how all those shoot. Anyway, I hope you guys find this interesting. We'll talk to you later, and you have a good day.